Welcome to Excel in Finance video number 42. Hey, if you want to download this workbook for chapter 5, click on the link directly below the video and then scroll way down to the Excel Finance class. In this video, we got to talk about consumer loans and an amort what are amortized loans. Now, amortized loans just mean that every time you make a payment and we've been we've seen a number of videos on how to calculate the payment, it's part interest and part principal. Now, we want to build an amortization table because it will help us, especially us uninformed consumers. It will help us understand the painful truth about interest on amortized loans. All right, let's calculate our PMT first. We've done this like 10 times already in this class. So our rate is going to be our period rate. NPR is all the periods. Our present value is going to be our loan amount. And this is a positive because it's coming into our pocket. And then Enter. Now, to build an amortization table, we have to put the numbers 0 to uh, 360 because for each payment, we're going to break apart and look how much of this goes into the banker's pocket as interest and how much goes to reduce our loan. I'm going to type periods here, tab. PMT tab interest paid prince tab principal reduction and finally the balance I'm going to highlight these uh, do some uh, borders whatever formatting you want and wrap text okay and I'm going to uh, go like that and then add some borders. Now I want to show you a trick here. Um, this is a great trick and there's all sorts of ways and I actually have a few other videos at YouTube that show you how to create the number sequence 0 to 360. But let's just say we're always using 30, uh, 30 years and so we always need 360. Totally amazing trick. Watch this. You got a point, you highlight a cell with a 0, point to the fill handle and then right click that means right click and drag notice I drag down and then drag back up so really we drag down and up and you point to series and then you say you want to fill the series in columns which means it'll fill it down there and the step value is 1 and the stop value is 360 is that not totally amazing and then bloop, just like that you can prove to yourself that it did it. I'm going to click in the cell and control down arrow. Sure enough, control up arrow. All right, now the rest of it, since there's something to the left, we can create our formulas and then double click and send them down. Now, nothing goes in this row except for the balance. So on the time zero, we just owe that amount. Now we come here. And I'm going to make my PMT equals PMT. Oh, uh, equals this because we already did it. And guess what? I'm going to convert this for the just the look of the uh, amortization table to a positive. So I put a negative. And then I'm going to hit the F4. Control Enter and then double click and send it down. If you don't believe it, Control Down Arrow, Control Up Arrow. All right, so we pay that amount each period. Now, how in the world do we figure out interest? And if you figure this out, which we'll do in just a second, it will reveal why when you send in a mortgage payment, they take so much of it in the early years as interest. Well, just think about this. What is the logic of this? You went out and borrowed 300 k It sat in that account and you owed it for one month. And then at the end of the month, they said, OK, now, here's your payment, but how much interest do you owe? So the equals the amount that was sitting in the account for the whole month times the period rate. Now I'm going to lock that one because when I copy this formula down, it's going to need to be locked. So when I go down each one of these cells, this one will always move to the new balance because this payment will be part interest and whatever's left over will be the amount we reduce in our uh, principal and that means this will go down each period. I control enter. I'm not going to um, copy that down yet. I'm going to control shift 4. Control shift 4 is the keyboard shortcut for currency. Now principal reduction. Okay, 
maybe some of us you know would have a hard time figuring out that but the logic is amount in the account for whatever period times the period rate but this one we should be able to figure out we sent in this amount they stole this amount as interest no no it's not stealing if you're a consumer it seems like stealing but it is contractual extraction you signed the contract right so if they sent this amount in we simply go like amount we sent in the interest they contractually uh, can take tab 344 so I send in 1656 and I only get to keep 344 you betcha because that balance is sitting right there and you do owe that interest as we've already seen there are other types of contracts but in many consumer loans this is the way it works alright so what's our balance equals a relative cell reference one above minus whatever they was left over after the interest alright now let's check relative cell references escape both relative cell references so when I copy down that'll work and then this one has that cell locked so watch this we can just highlight this three different formulas point to the uh, fill handle and when we see our angry rabbit our little crosshair double click and send it down it sends both formulas down I'm gonna control down arrow we should have a balance of zero at the end wow amortization table so now uh, you can see we send in this much interest interest uh, principal reduction and balance now let's go down to the bottom you can see that the interest is very small at the end and then the principal amount uh, that it's reduced by our balance is very large now it's kind of annoying here I don't see my uh, field names those labels at the top so I'm going to control home I actually want to highlight this whole row row 10 and I want to freeze pane so I go to the window where's my view sorry that's the old uh, the window group so view and then right here in the window group freeze panes so now when I scroll down wherever I am I can see that uh, whatever the numbers are and my labels now I want to come down here and add up all the money we uh, put into this we didn't have a, a down calculation that would be included in this also but just I'm going to alt equals and then tab alt equals is a keyboard shortcut for auto sum so that's how much we paid in total let's alt equals and add up all the interest ah uh, look at that that copied that down it uh, I don't I don't want that formula that I'm going to delete it uh, happens to be correct but what I want to do is I want to add up this column to see if uh, we get the same because if this calculation this is our calculation for all the the uh, principal reduction so when I alt equal I better get 300 K all right so that's an amortized loan we can see that each payment part of its interest part of its principal in the later years most of its principal control home in the early years uh, most of it is interest alright um, couple more loan things in our next video alright see you next video